Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. It's the golden age of television and film. And finally, many minorities who were previously excluded from participating in the acting and entertainment industry are being included more. Whether it's people from different nationalities, gender identities, or differently abled, we're seeing a more accurate representation of real bodies and faces on screen every year. This is making us really nostalgic here at Top 10, and we want to look back at the Top 10 famous midgets who have graced our eyes with their talents. Or is it little people? Either way, before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and tell us in the comments who your favorite little person is or if we left someone off of our list. Number 10. Warwick Davis Warwick Davis may not be like Cardi B famous, but he is well known for his roles in Willow and in the Leprechaun film series, while the younger generation might know him as Professor Phileas Flitwick in the Harry Potter series. He's a British actor, standing at just 3 feet 6 inches because of his spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia, a very rare form of dwarfism that's caused by a bone disorder. His face is very characteristically smiley, with big teeth and happy eyes, that once you see him, you'll start seeing him in many of your favorite movies. He's still active in the film industry today, and even has a daughter, Annabelle Davis, that followed in his footsteps as an actor, having appeared in Star Wars The Last Jedi as Dota Ben. Number 9. Hervé Villachez Si plain, si plain. If you've ever muttered those words before and wondered where they came from, then you're about to find out. You can thank Hervé Jean-Pierre Villachez for popularizing the catchphrase from the 1980s TV series Fantasy Island. And for those James Bond fans out there, we'd be doing a disservice not to mention that he played the evil henchman Knick Knack in the 1974 James Bond hit The Man with a Golden Gun. Standing at 3 feet 11 inches, Hervé suffered a form of dwarfism that was likely attributed to an endocrine disorder. Later in life, he preferred to be called a midget rather than a dwarf, likely because of how much he was bullied because of his height. Haters can hate, but Hervé, even to this day, is the shortest artist to ever have his work displayed in the Museum of Paris. Number 8. Peter Dinklage While he's not the most famous little person throughout history, he's certainly come a long way with the younger generations. He's been working since long before his newfound fame on Game of Thrones, for which he received an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor. Standing at 4 feet 4 inches tall, one of the taller people on this list, he's also been in many memorable films, such as Pixels, Knights of Bad Astem, Death at a Funeral, and just recently, Between Two Ferns, the movie. He had a breakout role in The Station Agent in 2003, and ever since has been climbing the Hollywood hierarchy. Life looks different than it used to in New Jersey where he grew up. He worked in a theater a lot and has shown an incredible range and versatility in his acting. On top of that, frankly, he looks like he'd be a cool guy to hang out with. Number 7. Kenny Baker Kenny Baker is probably the most famous little person that you don't recognize. Standing at 3 feet 8 inches tall, the British actor was born in Birmingham with dwarfism to normal-sized parents and made a career as an actor. Living to be 81 years old, he had a lengthy film career, most notably portraying R2-D2 in the Star Wars franchise. He only became famous after he was approached by a woman on the street asking him to perform in a theatrical group of dwarfs and midgets. After taking many gigs relating to his height, like his comedy duo with Jack Purvis as The Many Tones, and in a brief stint with the circus, he finally got his big break in Star Wars. So, hey, it paid off. Now he's internationally famous and will have a long legacy to pass on to his family. Number 6. Zelda Rubenstein Zelda was an American actress best known for playing a medium in the Poltergeist film series. Before she was ever on TV, however, she was a lab technician in the medical field. She was also frequently on Picket Fences for two seasons and was the voice of Skittle Candies in their ad campaign in Sixteen Candles, Teen Witch, and Little Witches. 
She was a well-known activist for little people and fought in the HIV AIDS crisis. She died in 2010 after a longer than lifetime on Earth, standing at just four feet, three inches tall. She's become an inspiration then, not just for little people, but also for all women in the industry. Number five, Tony Cox. Tony Cox is known for his acting in Bad Santa, Me, Myself, and Irene, Friday, Oz the Great and Powerful, Spaceballs, and Beetlejuice, just to scratch the surface. Born in the small town of Uniontown, Alabama, he originally focused on making a career out of music, once saying, I played by ear. It was exactly like in Drumline. I played against some of the drummers from the school, and they didn't have anything on me. I just couldn't read music. Tony Cox is just three feet, six inches tall, but has a huge personality to make up for it. He's had a good, long career, but hasn't appeared on screen for a while. Number four, Fern Troyer. Standing at two feet, eight inches tall, Fern is not only one of the shortest people on this list, but he's also one of the shortest people to have ever lived because of a very rare condition known as cartilage hair hypoplasia. Starting off as a stunt double for babies and children, it wasn't until his iconic role as Mini-Me in the Austin Powers film franchise that he gained notoriety, which would lead to roles like Grip Hook in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and Coach Punch Chirkoff in The Love Guru. Byrne was originally raised Amish in Sturgis, Michigan, but his parents left the faith when he was still a child. Sadly, he passed away in April of 2018 from an apparent suicide by alcohol poisoning. Number three, Jason Acuna. Born in Paris, France and growing to a height of four feet, it's likely that the name Jason Acuna doesn't ring a bell. That is until you hear his stage name, Wee Man. It's also likely that you can't think of anywhere you've seen him other than from the Jackass film series and TV show because, well, that's basically all he's done. But can you really blame him? With the success and money he made from Jackass, there's really no reason to keep working, which is exactly what Jason has done through his charitable acts, like visiting the troops in Kuwait in 2010 and investing in a Mexican taco chain called Chronic Tacos. So what is he doing today? Well, he gave up the red carpet lifestyle to live the simple life, sold his home and farm, and is now living in his 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter van. Why, you ask? Well, Wee Man himself stated, I realize the more shit you have, the more issues you have. We get the gesture, Jason, but we think Notorious Big said it best, more money, more problems. Number two, Jodi Amgay. An actress from Nagpur, India, Jodi also holds the Guinness World Record for being the smallest living woman, standing at just two feet, one inches tall. She's short in height due to a growth anomaly called achondroplasia. But despite her tiny stature, she is not the shortest woman in history. That title belongs to Pauline Musters, who lived in the Netherlands in the late 1800s and was just one centimeter shorter than Jodi. You may know Jodi from American Horror Story for her role as Ma Petite in the fourth season. A documentary about her has also been released called Body Shock, Two Foot High Teen. She's also incredibly charismatic, so we're likely to see a lot more of her in future films. Number one, Brad Williams. Although his stand-up mainly consists of yelling at people, telling them he's not Wee Man, and running around saying, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, I'm a midget, that doesn't take anything away from the pure genius that is Brad Williams. Standing at four feet, four inches, he's on the taller side of dwarfism thanks to his condition, achondroplasia, which in layman's terms means he has short legs and arms, but his torso is of normal size. He got his start by accident while being in the audience of a Carlos Mencia live comedy show. When Carlos made a dwarf joke and noticed Brad in the audience, Carlos called him up to the stage where Brad promptly laid out some jokes only to then be asked by Carlos to be his permanent opener on his tour. If you want to catch more of Brad, tune in to the About Last Night podcast or his two stand-up specials, Brad Williams' Fine Size and Brad Williams' Daddy Issues. Thanks for watching. Hmm, that wasn't as short of a list as I thought it would be. Before you go, leave a little comment below about which of these fine people you'd most like to meet in person and why. 
Don't be shortchanged by missing out on future videos, maybe even a mini-series from Top 10 Archive. Subscribe now, click the notifications bell, give this video a like, then share it with your short list of friends. Keep watching, because we'll be back with another video in just a wee bit.